Hi guys, this is LT Survival. Testing the new microphone, the 20 feet uh, amplified uh, lavalier uh, lapel pin. So you might have heard my finger there. Yeah, big time. And um, at the same time, I'm doing a review video today. But you can see also I've got a new computer, brand spanking new. Decided to invest because my other uh, was giving a giving sign of failing so uh lots of uh investment this month but uh it's worth it because you need the computer to work the video and you need uh to continue making video so today's video is going to be the horns knight from it's a chinese knife again but it's from uh, horns not a bad quality knife. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. We're back. Well, the uh, out of the many knife I've ordered in China, Harns has shown uh, promises. Um, it's not a it's a small knife this one is a small knife they have another one that's excellent um just the name that eludes me right now but i might find it uh and come back it's i've got so many knives now that i have to read to make sure but there's uh there's the knight there's the tough that's coming i've got another one uh very smooth um this one also deployment quite easy uh liner lock okay the scales are frn i would believe so uh, nylon frn so and it's uh tip up or tip down right hand carry only sweet knife it's an 8 cr14 mov uh, which give it quite different a bit from the 8 well not, not very much different we don't see it by eyes but uh uh, the steel feels sharp I've not even stropped it yet paper cut eh, not so much because I've been using it on box and everything but quite uh, quite a nice piece of steel uh, the blade is over three inches but barely for the uh, for the cutting edge what's particular about it is the thickness of the handle it feels bulky and when i say it feels bulky it's not by much okay at the front we have 0.54 inches and in the back we're at 0.6 inches okay those that are in a millimeter let's see if let's zero this again okay hey so up front the thickness is smaller it's uh 13.7 and out the back it's 14.7 so it's a little thicker than my last ganzo i reviewed which was 0.5 basically an in of an inch uh thick so this is a little more uh, a little thicker it feels in the pocket anyway the clips is really good not too strong not too uh light and the shape in the ergonomics is really good i really like i really dig this knife because it feels well in my large hand it's really a four finger grip on it you've got a small thumb ramps uh, up front and a nice drop point with a swedge up front it's a high saber grind but it's a hollow grind so let's take a look closer okay let's make sure oops let's make sure i have lights by the camera because if not the camera is pixelizing for nothing okay got plenty of light now so here's the uh the clip side you see uh you can it's a very peculiar form that you can fit on either side of the knife that's why it is that form because it goes around the pivot so it fits in the back they pro probably could have fitted the uh, the clip here also 
but not so much here. Uh, probably wouldn't fit around the pivot. Hmm. Well, maybe, but they could have made the effort or either used the pivot. It's an open pillar construction, but there's many pillars. And like you can see, it's a lot of them. One, two, three, four, and five pillars. Okay. One is completely in the back, past the lanyard hole. Okay. And makes for a nice shape. Very solid. Okay. The liner are full stainless steel. Liner lock. There's no um, cuts to lighten the knife so it's a little way um, let's see the writing Knights 8 CR 14 MOV if you can see correctly and on this side we've got the Harns logo time stud dual time stud I'm not a lefty very much so not sure if I can even yeah I can deploy it's not bad. It's on nylon washer, so it is uh, very nicely made because they don't have any other washer. So let's put the lights back and finish this up. So I don't do a uh, review, like big review with cut tests and everything I could cut, but this knife has been used, has been carried for weeks. And I've had knife for a long time, not even strop. I could do the stropping and have my kit here. Uh, but it shows, uh, I want simply you to understand that the knife will do what you want. And you can always sharpen a knife. The thickness of the blade here is really nice for your thumb to rest. You can go over the thumb rest. It's a small knife, but it's one that you can wear every day and it's comfortable. The uh, ergonomics of the handle is really great. It, it works well, so it is a working knife. So, almost cut myself there again. <laughs> not used to do the, uh, the review anymore. <laughs> I have not done so much in time in, in so long. So really a good knife it is not as soft as as you would like for it to close okay but it deploys easy and it goes back in as easy the 10 ball is perfect on this one not too soft not too hard and the uh, lock bar goes about if you can see, I'll, I'll get the camera to focus. If you can see, it's almost to the middle. So it's not bad, not bad at all. Full stainless steel liners inside. It's very, for the, for the size you feel the weight, it is a nice knife. So I recommend this knife also. And if you like this review, give it the thumbs up, share and subscribe, and we'll see you back in the next video.